So let me start by explaining this image. As I said before, this image is in a shape of a pyramid and it also says the same thing about your technical knowledge. It means that you must have a lot of knowledge of what is at the bottom and then slowly build up to the top. At the bottom, you have instrumentation. Usually people who are automation engineers or software engineers, they usually don't bother about instrumentation. But you know, if you are in the control and automation space, my mentor always told me that no matter how far you are up in the pyramid, you need to have a very good understanding of instrumentation if you are in control and automation because instrumentation is the foundation of everything. It is where you get your plant data that is used everywhere on top of this pyramid. So if you are not familiar with instrumentation, it will become tough for you when you start to work as an automation engineer, as a technician or an artisan. When it comes to instrumentation, make sure you know it very well. Regardless of the level that you are going to be hired for, for say, for instance, if you're going to be a skater engineer in your interview, they will definitely ask you about instrumentation and get your understanding of instrumentation because there is no way of escaping the instrumentation layer as it is the foundation. So after instrumentation, you get the field networks layer. I always look at field networks as a way of improving data acquisition from, from instrumentation and it makes it easy for, for PLCs to get data from instruments. It is a wide topic and there's a lot of technology that is currently being invested in field networks to improve the data that's coming in from, from instrumentation. I will go into, it, into detail on what you need to know when it comes to field networks. It is quite important. So there's a lot of investments that are being made in the industry when it comes to field networks. So it is something that is growing and growing very fast. It is a layer that is strongly used with instrumentation as well. In some pictures where they show you this automation pyramid, the field networks and instrumentation layers are combined, but I chose to separate them for simplicity. Then after the field networks layer, then you get your control systems layer, which consists of your PLC. So you can call this the, the PLC layer. We are going to go into what you need to know and the type of questions that you, that you usually get asked when it comes to PLCs, as well as the type of training or education that you should be trying to get to improve your knowledge on PLCs. After the PLCs, we're gonna look at SCADAs, the technology in SCADAs and HMIs, servers, you are going to get server questions because servers play a big part in control and automations. Historians, usually this is called the data layer and it also fits into things like planning, but I just called it historians because when we explain this topic, we're just going to focus on historians, which is usually what automation engineers deal with quite often. Then afterwards, we're going to go to reporting and how this helps factories and management to make better decisions. So all the videos that I will be doing are going to be focusing on these topics that we have here in these layers of the automation pyramid. I'm going to start with instrumentation, give you the technical knowledge that you should invest in and the technical knowledge that you should have for your interviews.